Hey guys, Shelter here, welcome back to another video. This one's actually going to be a bit unique, but it's going to be talking about all of the perks in Enlisted from which you can get for soldiers and tankers. And basically, you know, which ones are good, which ones are bad, which ones you should always pick, which ones you should always avoid. And just, you know, just really good perks in my opinion. Now, obviously, of course... I'll say which ones are good, which ones are the, you know, which ones you should avoid, etc. Now, if you don't know, engineers actually get, like, some, have a unique, have unique perks outside, like, you can see here, uh, building speed, and there's resources here, and there's another, I think there's another one, is there another one? No. Whereas, um, you can see everyone else doesn't have that, those unique perks. Now, I'm going to start from the speed perks, then I'm going to go on to the health, the vitality perks, then I'm going to go on to the weapon perks, and then after that I'm going to go straight on to this dude here who's got some vehicle perks to grab as well, like you can see some there's some ones in weapon and there's some ones in speed, but there's nothing in, vi in vitality, so it'll just be these and these. Anyways, let's start off with the speed perks. And then we'll move on to the vitality, etc. So for the speed perk, the first speed perk is plus 75% med pack usage speed. In my opinion, this is the best speed perk in the game. Just 75% med pack usage speed is so good. It's honestly just so good. Like it, it cuts down. If you go down, you usually have to stay down for nine seconds. That gets cut to about two seconds. It's really, really good for that. Um, yeah, honestly, and if you're using multiple med packs like I often do with, say, for example, bad example, <laughs> uh, like this guy, for example, you know, he's got multiple med packs. Well, you know, as you can see, I've got the med pack usage speed for him already. Um, yeah. Very, very good. Very useful in conjunction with the 200% health restored by med pack or the 100% health restored by med pack for the Assault of Freeze. Just a very, very, very good perk. Honestly, if this shows up, it should be a must grab unless you get something like I'm just, unless you get something, something else like, for example, fire, firearm vertical recoil reduction or. Vitality, other good perks, you know, some other good perks. So let's go on to the next one, which is 100% climbing speed. Worthless, in my opinion. Climbing speed, I don't know, it's fast, it, like, yeah, it can be a bit slow, but it's like, do you really want, like, if this was a little bit less, maybe, but it's the fourth most expensive speed perk in the game, and, again, you can only have a max of five slots, so when you have, you know, so, and in my opinion, it's just worthless, especially when there's at least three, maybe four, you know, you've got so many better options. Um, six, um, this one, which is the 10% um, run speed, six speed. I really get this a lot. It's a really, really good perk. It means that you run your... Your default move speed, not your sprinting speed, is 10% faster. I usually run this on basically every guy. Because I usually run med pack usage speed and this. Now, I know people will go for the sprint speed and say, you know, but in my opinion, I prefer the run speed and the med pack usage speed. Very, very, very good. You know, both of these are pretty good perks. Good, you know, good conjunction with the two. And. If you can use this with um, stamina perks, it's really powerful. You can literally bolt across the map. The same if you're using the mine exploit, where you can basically um, run faster with the um, mines, or you're using the sword or an axe. You know, it's really, really good. Really good perk. Just really good. The jump height, I, d I don't really see this to be useful. Yeah, you can, air you can jump over barbed wire without taking much damage, but... By default, you can actually jump over barbed wire. It can help you reach like harder to reach locations, but 
No, I don't I don't really like this one too much. It's one of my least favourite perks. And I don't know, it's not that good. Um sixty percent move speed while crawling and crouching. Really good for snipers, in my opinion. This is a very good sniper perk. It's really, really good for um you know, using snipers. Very good for because, you know, snipers spend most of the time crouched and crawling. Pretty good perk for them, but I think for most other... Like, it's, it's still a pretty strong perk, and it's quite cheap, so... It's worth... It's a, it's a decent perk, actually, for, for cheap cost. 150% uh, speed of change in pose. Very, very powerful. Honestly... One of the most powerful perks in the game. Because you can literally just hit Z, which um, is default on um, PC. Z, slap onto the ground. And suddenly, you know, you're on the ground like the Flash. And the enemy have no, you know, they have no way. You know, they have to aim down. You don't have to aim too far up. You, have to, you don't have to change your positioning. They do. Very good. Honestly, just an a really powerful perk. I've used this perk to get multi kills. I've used this perk so many times. It's so powerful. Really, honestly, just an awesome perk. It's really good to get in drop shots. Really good for just you know for fast paced gameplay. So if you love fast paced gameplay, this is one of the better perks to grab, in my opinion. Uh, Sixteen, which is the sprint speed. I don't like this perk at all. This is, it, it costs too much, for my opinion, and most of the time you're going to get, what, match 20 speed? So that means you're basically, if you get like 20 speed, I, I don't know if that's possible, but it means you're, you're restricting your speed, and you, you can see there's like weapon aim speed here, or, so at 20 speed you can get weapon aim speed and the med pack usage speed, which is really, you know, which are really powerful conjunct, you know, I would say the med pack usage speed, like I said, was the best one. The best um, perk. I think this is the best perk in the game, actually. So you're literally locking yourself out of the best perk in the game, potentially. For the other, the final speed perk, for regular soldiers, that is, 20 weapon speed, aim speed. It's okay, I guess. Like, it's 20 weapon aim percent. You, you know, you aim down sights a little bit faster. But I personally find, you know, that aiming down sights is quite quick anyway, so... And given that I usually use Assault, and I think it's not that good on Assaulters, because Assaulters, you know, usually are close range. On some classes, it's really bad. Other classes, you know, which rely on using, on aiming down sights, pretty good. Yeah, I, I it's not my favourite, but it's it's still pretty good. Anyway, now we've got the speed perks out of the way, let's go on to the vitality perks. Starting with 100% health regeneration out of combat. Rubbish. Honestly, just a waste of, per of points. Do not get this at all. It is rubbish. Completely rubbish. One of the worst perks in the game. Just do not bother getting this perk at all. Like... It is honestly one of the worst perks in the game. The only the only time I could see this being used is in a tanker. But it's wasting slots. Like you're wasting slots and vitality when you could be using it on more stamina, more health absorbed by a med pack, or just more vitality in general. Just a rubbish perk. Um this perk, um uh, reduced head shaking. Really good, surprisingly good. Honestly, I I won this quite a bit. If I don't have the, if I can't get sixteen vitality and get the vitality perk, I I run this perk alongside stamina or the health pack restored or even the um the aim stability perk maybe every now and again. I I don't know. I don't really use this one either. But this one very very good perk because. People use explosives all the time, and being, yeah, and of course, being concussed in this game is a is a pain in the ass. 
really. And having it, the effects get reduced is really good. The um, next perk is hold down breath, you know, aiming breath speed gets, you know, you can use it for 100% longer. Really good, again, like the um, crouching speed, it's really good for snipers, but for everyone else, not really that good. So, I think the crouching one, however, you could kind of justify, like, saying, hey, you can use this outside of snipers, but this one, not really. Stamina regen, honestly, really good, surprisingly good, in my opinion. Like, for and it's another good zero perk, um, you know, zero um, cost perk, really good. The zero cost perks are actually all really, really good, in my opinion. Um, this one, you know, it lets you use, um, it lets you run, you know, your stamina regenerates quicker, which is pretty good. Especially if you're constantly running around the map, if you're using a, a sprint build, it's essentially required to have this and the stamina perk. So you can get good, some, some good synergies with some, like, for example, hold, you know, more holding that. But if you, can use, it's just, you can use this with a lot of synergy, actually. Um, next is the 35% vitality. One of, if not the best perks, definitely the best perk for. The vitality tree, but one of the best perks in the game. Thirty-five percent more health. That's the like. I'm just going to show you something, right? Uh, let me just find it. The FG42. Um, twelve damage, right? Twelve base damage. Obviously, of course. This means that the FG42, unless it lands a headshot, won't be able to kill you and won't be able to down you in one shot, right? And that is incredibly powerful, like. You can you survive a little bit longer on the battlefield, and again, enlisted time to kill is quite good. So having more health is honestly a, a godsend. It also means you know you can survive a few more engagements. I usually try and get in on as many soldiers as I can. Very good perk, very good. In my opinion, one of the it's one of the best perks in the game. Aim stability after receiving damage. I don't see this. That one. like I don't think this one's too good. It's okay, but oh, the, the high cost, we, like the high cost, especially since for that cost you could grab the stamina and this perk and the um, reduced head shaking perk, which are both honestly better perks actually. Two hundred health restored by med pack. Really, really powerful when used in conjunction with the med pack use speed. Not as good on Assault of Freeze because of the 100% health restored already. But, on other, on other soldiers it can be quite useful. can be useful on Engineers. But, again, if you have, vital, if you have the Vitality perk, probably not going to be as useful. 100% um, stamina, honestly, really surprisingly good. If you can actually use this with the Assault of Twos, which have 35% more stamina, the, you can literally turn your soldiers into uh, Mo Far. Literally, your soldiers turn to Mo Farah. So Mo Farah is awesome. It's literally, you will be running across the entire map, and you won't run out of breath at all. It is great. And combine this with the stamina regen perk, run or sprint speed... And you're just a um, sword or a mine, and you just have you're just gonna be bolting across the map. Really good, really powerful perk. Just a really good perk. Anyways, we've got these now. Um, throwing range of grenades, worthless in my opinion. Grenades already have a pretty decent throw range, so it's in my opinion this one's worthless. Melee weapon damage. So this one's actually, in my opinion. It's one that reduces its effectiveness. Like, its effectiveness gets worse the, game, the, the more along the game you get. Because, yeah, you get 100% more damage. But around the later game, you get, like, MP43s. You get FG42s. You get Berettas. You get Gavir 43s M1 Garands. You know, just the whole nine yards. So, using your melee button, yeah, it's really good. And you, But... You're not, you're not going to be using melee that often. 
Um, this perk, I don't use it. It's, I think it's just a waste. It's generally, I, I don't really get the, what the appeal of this perk is, so. Um, firearms, changing speed. Really, really, really good for bombers and engineers. And really, if you're using um, snipers as well and you're using pistols, and you, before you get semi-autos, or even riflemen before you get semi-autos, quick swap into pistols, very good. Quick swap into anti-tank weapons, very useful when you need them. Honestly, just it's really good for using, you know, quick swap into weapons when you need them. Very good. Very good perk. One of one of my favourites, again, I always try and run this on engineers. I run it on um, bombers as well. Um, horizontal recoil reduction perk. Not that good, actually, because most weapons have vertical recoil, more or less. So, and some of them, I don't really, I don't, I don't like using the um, horizontal recoil perk because the vertical recoil perk is cheaper and it's better. Like, I'm just giving you, for example, the MP43, for example. It has much more ho vertical recoil than horizontal. Same with the um, MP40, same with the MP43, the FNAB, Beretta's basically evens. ZK, uh, MP45, Beretta, you know, they're all, they all, you know, this is just a submachine gun. Look at the rifles, the, um, the FG, of course, has been sat, has much more re vertical recoil, bolts obviously doesn't matter. Gavirs have a lot more vertical recoil than horizontal recoil. So, having the, um, vertical recoil perk is much better than horizontal recoil, in my opinion. So, yeah. Much better perk. It's if you have this perk, it's fine, I guess. You're still gonna probably be hitting the target. It's really also useful when you're using machine guns as well. Like I don't have it on my machine gunners, but I think that you know both both work, especially with this thing because this thing can't hit anything. Um, MGs again, you could probably use anything really because they flat they kick around. Other than like, the Allies ones, because the Allies ones probably have more vertical than horizontal. Either way, they're still, you know, really good part to grab. 12% uh, fire rate when using bolt action rifles. Really, really good for Moscow. Really good for snipers. Pretty bad for everything else. If you if you see this and you're using an assaulter, just don't. Just don't get this if you're using anything other than like a sniper. Or a rifleman on Moscow and stuff like that. Really, it's not. A, it's um a pretty um meh perk, really. Really good for um again, it's really situational. Really, really good if you're using bolt actions or you're on Moscow or maybe you're old Tunisia. But as soon as you get semi autos or and you know stop using bolt actions, then. You're not going to be using this perk. It's not as good. It's not that good on Normandy. It's not that good on Berlin. Yeah, just a meh perk. Um, ten uh, for this ten one, which is a great chance to get downed. Honestly, pointless in my opinion. I do not like this perk at all. Like, I don't know how it works. Like. I'm not sure, I mean, the whole down state is kind of confusing, so it's not that good, and it's 10 as well, like, if this was 8, or maybe, you know, if this was 8, then maybe, but 10 is just too much, and then the final one is, of course, the 12% um, reload speed, which is actually really good, like, I'm, I'm trying to find out if I've got any maxed out gunners or anything, do I have any maxed out gunners? I do, ooh. He just missed out on the vertical recoil perk. <laughs> just. I don't know if you can actually get maxed uh, gunners, but... Actually, hold on. Yeah, you can actually. Yeah, you can get this and the horizontal with gunners. I think only gunners. But yeah. Pretty... I think this is a really, really good perk. Like, it's, it's, it's basically essential for machine gunners, you know, using the big machine guns, you know. Like the MG34, 
like the MG42, like the DP27, DP29, stuff like that, you know, weapons with a slow reload. It also works for anti-tank weapons. Where is it? It does work for anti-tank weapons, so I try and get these on my anti-tank guys. Bad example here, but I'm pretty sure, yes I do, I have it on this guy. The, uh, that was the final perk, so I'm going to go on to a engineer and show off the engineer perks. There is, uh, of course, the building speed here, resources, and there's another one, I believe. No, it's just those two. Okay. Um, build speed is really, really good. Really expensive, but very good. Honestly, just really, really good perk, in my opinion. Honestly, just try and get this on as many engineers as you can. I don't have it on this engineer, but I try and get this on as many engineers as I can. It's very powerful. In my opinion, it's actually worth sacrificing this, getting this over this. This one gives them a little bit more survivability, but this is just a really good perk. So it's kind of like a risk, like, do you pick this perk or do you pick this perk? But it's really good, especially on the engineer squads, because the buildings can take a bit of a long time, but, yeah. And the final one, resources available for buildings. I, again, it's kind of like the risk, like, you take this and you're missing out vitality, but I think this could be useful, especially on the engineer, on the engineer squads, but I am not using engineer squads on this campaign at the moment. So, again, those are probably better for the engineer squads because um, the engineer, you know, the engineer squads, so they, because they actually have, you know, their, their buildings take a little bit longer. It's also good for building rally points in general. So, yeah, I think they're good perks, but again, situational perks. Anyway, let's talk about the tanker perks and, oh, see how loud to bite them. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of perks for the, um, for both sides. Nothing for the um, Vitality, so don't worry anything about Vitality. But there's a lot here, and a lot here. So let's begin. 20% uh, uh, speed for extinguishing the vehicle. Okay. Mm, it's a okay perk. Just okay, I guess. Um, for, uh, you know, for 5, it's okay, I guess. And, you can, and given how, um, oh, given, you know, you can get, I'm just trying to find, um, you know, you get so many, like, you can see here, this guy has, like, additional 5 speed. This guy has additional 7 speed, so, oh, probably, yeah, I need to be going this guy, I don't know. So, yeah, you can see why, you can see that, the, you know, it could be a useful sub, like, Say you've just gotten everything, it could be useful for that at the end. 50% um, speed of using brake only applies to drivers, so I'd recommend grabbing it on the driver and the radio operator because the, the loader has another perk I'll talk about. So if you have to um, use your driver, so if your driver gets killed, let's just say, you know, Someone else can, you know, have the same perks. Um, changing the seat speed, really, really good perk. Very low cost. It will literally, it can, it can save you in certain situations. Yeah, bit, bit of a good perk. Good perk. Um, load up this loader perk. Um, I don't really see. It. I don't see the point of it. I don't actually have it on any of my. I think I've got it on one of my guys, and it doesn't even work. Do I have it on... No, I don't have it on this guy. Tell a lie. But yeah, it's not really a good perk in my opinion, so... Um, uh, vehicle repair speed. Very useful. Very, very, very useful. Put this on everyone apart from, of course, drivers, because their one should be focusing on the gear shift speed and the brake speed. Try and get this on as many people as you can. It's really useful. And and for the gear shift speed, obviously you just grab this on your driver, but that's it. The other three, you have this one, which is increased targeting skills of a tank gun for gunners. I 
don't actually know how this works. Like, I really don't know how it works. I think I've got it on one of my gunners. Yeah, I've got it on this guy, but I don't know how it works. Like, do I, I'm not just checking you out. I've only got it on this gunner. But I don't really see how this works. Like, it's, um, it's pretty deep. Like, it's, I don't, I mean, I'll, I'll have to try and find out how it works, but it said it improves targeting skills, so I, I mean, I guess it's improves targeting skills, so I don't know how it works, so, so, I'm not sure how it works, so let me just, I'm saying that a lot, but, anyways, um, at this one, uh, match durability parts, uh, parts durability, really, really good, in my opinion, if you don't have, for the other three guys, the the commander loader and the rage operator, it's probably best to get the these two perks. Let's say you you, you get them, these two perks, this perk, this perk, and then you and this perk. I think you can get those. Yeah, you will be able to get them. But yeah, those are my opinions for the tankers. But this is a very very good perk in my opinion, and honestly, just really worth it and the the final perk of course hundred percent percent usage is of the repair kit. Basically it gives you a third it gives you a double repair kit. So for this it will a normal repair kit you know will just be one. You know, you repair one ta the tank once, bang, they're gone. Whereas if you use the repair kit, I don't have it on these on these guys, but I think I might have it on another guy. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, I've got it here. This guy, you know, if he, you know, when he gets out of the tank, you, you can see I'm trying, I was trying to, I'm trying to get the, um, what is it, this perk. Yeah, it's this perk. You know, when he gets out of the tank, he's going to be able to repair, you know, his repair is going to give a little bit more durability, so that's really good. Really useful for tanks, obviously, because, it, you know, because repairing them obviously which has reduced, you know, durability by default. So if you repair a tank, let's say you hit your gun gets destroyed, it will it will basically if you repair it, it will do some you know it will have some usage left, and you can still fire it. But again, any round hits it, you're it's going to be dead again. So you have to uh, and you have to repair it again. So it's pretty useful for that. Anyways, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Um, that's just my take on the, on all of the perks. Um, obviously, I didn't include planes because I don't use planes. So, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed. If You know, leave some comments, some perks, which you, you know, what you use. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.